folks, welcome to another technical video from AA Silencers. The car on the ramp behind me is a 2015 model 1.6 TDI Volkswagen Golf. Uh, the owner's got concerns that going up hills, his temperature gauge is going above 90 degrees C. And sure enough, we've test driven it and that's exactly what it is doing. All we're going to do now is we're going to find out exactly why. So, when we get under the bonnet, normally the first thing we look for on these is what type of coolant it's running. And this one is G13. Now this is the latest style coolant. It tells me that this vehicle has got full thermal management. So not only does it have an electronically controlled mechanical coolant pump, it will also have either one or two electronic coolant pumps too. And what tends to happen is that the, the mechanical part of the main coolant pump fails in the closed position. And we end up whereby all the coolant circulation is done by the electric pumps, which is certainly not enough under full load conditions. So we've now got it all stripped out. The pump that's come out is uh, here on the right hand side against the brand new Volkswagen pump that's on the left. And you can clearly see there, this collar here actually is supposed to move up and down to allow it to either pump coolant or not pump coolant. That one there is in the not pump coolant state, so it's no great surprise that this engine is getting too hot. So, because of the type of cooling system that's on this vehicle, because it's got G13 coolant in, we have to do what's called a diagnostic cooling system bleed routine. This is done within Volkswagen's Audi system, as you can see on the screen here. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes in total. This is the first stage, which is the high temperature, and this is going to be done with the engine running. There's then a secondary section, which is done with the engine uh, not running, and that bleeds through and it operates all the electric pumps. The reason for this is you don't want any air locks in the system, and you do not want the electric pumps running dry, because that can damage them very, very quickly indeed. So we're going to do this now. Once this is done, all we've got left is a good road test to make sure the system's back up and running, and then it's not over temperature. Another one fixed. 